When President-elect Donald Trump talked about the nation's capital during the campaign, he often used this catchphrase. It is time to drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. Of course, Washington, D.C. isn't a swamp. That's just a metaphor. Our city is a collection of neighborhoods, each with its own history and personality. Washingtonians are, by and large, liberal. More than 75 percent of D.C. voters are registered Democrats. D.C. has never elected a Republican mayor. On Election Day, 90 percent of voters chose Hillary Clinton. Four percent voted for Trump. But Washingtonians have learned to live with politicians of every stripe. And in his own way, Trump is about to become a Washingtonian. I set out to find out what that may mean for the city. I got into my car and ventured around the district on a little road trip. We start out in southeast Washington, in a largely African-American neighborhood called Congress Heights. Many people here have not benefited from the city's economic growth. This, this administration moved in, they will bring exceedingly high prices to everything in the Washington area. And if you don't have a lot of capital or means of bringing in capital, then you will have to be, you have to move along. Our next stop is Anacostia. Generations of black families have called this neighborhood home. Here's a bit of what I heard there. Like they may look at him wrong or say stuff under their breath, but I think like if he came into my work establishment, I would welcome him. I wouldn't treat him no other way that I would treat any of my other clients. So. We crossed the Anacostia River and headed to Capitol Hill, a neighborhood of tree-shaded streets and handsome row houses. I, I think it goes without saying that it's up to him to really kind of uh, make amends for everything that he's done. For many immigrants from Central America, Columbia Heights is the first Washington neighborhood they call home. It's not exactly Trump territory. Next is Georgetown. Georgetown is the embodiment of posh. With high-end stores and restaurants, some of the city's most well-heeled residents live here, too. Well, I think there are a whole lot of people who came to this town in the Reagan years who will really celebrate the return of glamour. Um, and exclusivity. We ended our trip in Calorama. Many consider it the loveliest neighborhood in Washington. It's a favorite of foreign diplomats. Barack Obama is moving his family to a home in Calorama. First daughter Ivanka Trump and her family bought a home in the same neighborhood. You know, there's always a lot of political discussion and activism in D.C., obviously. I think it's even more now. I think people are being drawn into conversations, so there's a real um, energy. Our trip comes to an end here, in front of the White House. Come January 20th, Mr. Trump will live here. Now it's up to the new president to make the rest of Washington his home.